Hey guys, I'm the Sky Spire, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Xenoblade Chronicles X! Last time! Actually, before I talk about last time, this crate that's been in front of Blade Tower this entire time, I finally upgraded so that we can get rid of that. And it is beautiful. Segment recon complete. And inside of there is his crates. I don't know if he expected something cool. It's just there. Also, we have Julius over here. We're gonna go talk to him. I won't lie, it's a real gamble. The question is who? Well, today we're gonna be dealing with this, hopefully. What's. C can we know some information about the Lemishin? I've been ordered to find a blade who will accept and complete a high risk mission. If you're interested, I'll give you the details. So, as you probably know, the survey of Noctua is pretty far along, and as a result of that, we recently picked up a strange signal. So. Ooh, okay, so we've got... Yeah, I think it's worth checking out. Anything anything weird is checking out. Anything weird is checking out. Anything weird is worth checking out. Let's go. The mission demands the best of the best. And I'm thinking that just might be used. Will you take it? I will take it indeed. A strange SMI signal has been received from Noctilum that may be coming from a new alien race. Go there and investigate. All right, we'll do that. Sun Catch Ravine. All right, that looks good. So, we're going to go to Noctilum. This is around the middle area of Noctilum. Ooh, okay. Suncatch Ravine, that's interesting. FN Site 211, that's where I'm going to be teleporting to. Yeah, for a while, I think I am going to have Nagi in my party. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be a good boy, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I don't even know where this place really is. I think I might use my scales to fly over to wherever it is, but yeah. Alright, so, and up we go. Alright, so where is this place? Oh, Suncatch Ravine is this area. Huh. So in that case, right here. Whoa! All right. Let's descend down. Oh, okay. What do we have here? I mean, it's probably just gonna teleport to us going right to the ground because we shouldn't really be in our scales. But, huh? What's up down there? Whoa! Did you receive our distress call? We were only able to broadcast a very weak signal for fear of the ganglion. We are glad it was sufficient. Who are you guys? You came this far without identifying us? You humans are truly a most unusual race. It is curious that organisms so prone to irrational behavior have survived this long. Still, your arrival proves that we were right to have sent our signal. While you seem less than logical, you, all, you clearly possess considerable combat prowess. By our calculations, humans have a 51% chance of destroying the ganglion. We wish to ally ourselves with the stronger side. Oh my god, really? Stronger side? Reaching out to you for aid was a logical inevitability. Well, looks like you guys are just brainiacs. However, we represent a valuable asset to the ganglion. Also, I hate how both L and this guy say we when there's clearly only one of you guys. We represent a valuable asset to the ganglion. They will, they will be loath to part with our considerable technological expertise. It follows that they will embark on a concerted attack against your kind in order to take us back by force. Uh, well, why don't you guys come back to NLA with us? That is a logical course of action. But I fear it is somewhat premature. There are others of my kind who are currently stranded. I would ask that you help me rescue them. Um... This constitutes all existing Orpha present. I request that you now escort us to New LA. Hmm. Regrettable. I suppose detection was inevitable. My kind are technologists, not warriors. You will have to fight them and keep us safe. Please? Okay, he said please. Yeah, we're good. And that one guy on the left is having an aneurysm from, from you know, the sheer amount of politeness just coming out of this guy. Marna Quartermaster. Well, you're dead. Uh, we are three skills. I just warped out of nowhere. I'm just going to flash grenade all of you guys. One of you is dead. The other one is not going to be alive, alive for long. Thermal Bomber! Still the blue edge, and you guys are done. Oh, really? We just caught up little... Oh my god, there's a lot of you guys, actually. I mean, this is not going to be hard, by any definition of the word, but still, like, there's a lot of you guys. And we are four or three gigantic robots and scales, and the most amazing secretary that has ever lived. I don't think he'll be surviving. Uh huh. this is proving to be very interesting. Let me just, uh, auto-attack, 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 please. There we go. Are you dead yet? Okay, why are, why am I still attacking? Your health is nothing. Thank you, whoever did that. Jeez. 
Um. I do love how these guys think that they can fight us. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, yeah. The, you you know how this is gonna go. It's just gonna be a whole beatdown session. Is that it? That is it. Rescue with the incons, incon, ensonded citadel. Please. I am good with English. Please. Enemy neutralization confirmed. You have done well. Now please accompany us to New LA before reinforcements arrive. Alright, well, I'm gonna fly all the way back to our beautiful city. And to the beautiful city we have arrived. Let's cut the engines and here we go. So, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, seriously, our skills are so much more colorful than all the others and that might be a bad thing, but I don't know. Okay, look at all these names. Gunlarb, Ontonam, Sunbarok, uh, Gunlarb, and... Uh, do you guys have the same name? Oh, Goon and Gon. Okay, yeah, yeah, no. I hate you guys. Nice work. Excellent work! I don't know what we expected, but it sure wasn't rescuing Xenos from the Ganglion. And Xenos with advanced techno less. We are rational beings guided and informed by logic. Our technology surpasses yours. We are positive that we shall be of great assistance in the development of your city. We have Director General Shasan's approval. The Xenos can have asylum in exchange for assisting our survey of Mira, as well as providing any anti-ganglion intel they may have. I hope you like my circular camera. They'll also be forming a new arms manufacturer. We previously engaged in weapon development for the ganglion. Now we should put that expertise to use for you humans. Alright, interesting. In return, you will defend us. We scratch their backs, they scratch ours. Scratching is unnecessary. We will hold to the terms of our alliance previously discussed. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that rescue mission was a crapshoot, but it paid off. Thanks for making it such a success. You have the gratitude of the Orpha as well. All five of you, sweet! Alright, so we have actually discovered a new form of Xenos. The Orpha are jumping on the arms manufacturing bandwagon with a company called Orphean Technologies. Being an engineer, I can't wait to see what they do with their knowledge of Ganglion tech. Okay, so this is actually the... Oh, well, I don't know what that okay was. Also, I am really excited to do this mission, reporting for duty. But we need to have three stars of uh, goodness with the general, with the director general, not director general. Um, he may as well be the director general, the secretary, the most amazing secretary in the world. So we can't quite do that yet. Um, but I'm going to head over to Armory Alley over here because I do want to see what that new, what that uh, Orphean Technologies is all about. Because uh, that is something new, and I think that might actually be the last one. Hold on, let's see here. Uh, Mana JMs. Oh, wow, far from the last one. An arms manufacturer made up of Orpheans who defected from the Ganglion to New LA. The architecture of the gear differs greatly from conventional human technology. High evasion protective wear in their principal product. Is their principal product. Alright, interesting. Well, uh, hopefully you guys won't mind uh, some uh, Miranium. Hold on, let's... Uh, Give you a good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I, I got this. I got this. I'm just bad with numbers. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, whoa, these, those are actually some cool. <laughs> go forth, evade and conquer. My god, these guys are awesome. All right, so we have some interesting technology. Thank you guys so much for sharing. All right, so I'll be happy to invest what I have in them. And evasive technology. Maybe I can finally come out of this little w this wear because I think you guys are bored of this. I have changed Elma's clothes a bit, or at least her weapons. I know. Pretty good way to check a. Hey! I just realized. Yeah, that's another. That's another way to get a um another AM manufacturer. They're setting up a local branch of their Nope on Commerce Guild Arms Manufacturing outfit. Boring name, I know, but I bet the stuff they sell is anything but. Head over to the AM terminal and Army Armory Alley and check them out. I have, wow, yeah, I just realized, I, we, we don't actually have uh, our, any arms manufacturers being run by Nopon. We have one being run by the Monon, who are candid and credible, the Orpha, who have the Orphean technologies and all that, or whatever they were called, um, and if they're based on evasive equipment, that is something I'll look into, yes, yes, yes. However, here we have, apparently, some, uh... Um, uh, no bond technologies, which is new, and I am looking forward to that. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? The Nobon Commerce Guild. The Commerce Guild started by the enterprising Nobon. Most of their products are thermal weapons that have been tuned to deliver greater magazine capacity. Wow. Sounds nice. Sounds nice. Um, right now, I want to invest into Orphean technologies right now, but definitely I'll check that out in a bit. 
and ooh, we've we've engineered invincibility. I don't think that's how it works, but hey. All right, so um, and I might even uh, I don't know. Will I change to Orphan technology? I might, I might, I might. We'll see, we'll see about that. Um, but as for what we're going to do now, I think that about covers the uh, bucket list of what I was going to do. You see, the next thing I was planning to do was actually a affinity mission and affinity mission over here. Which was, I believe it's called, uh, okay, Els Conundrum. It involves completing chapter 10 and the booming business mission, but we've already done that. That, that mission was basically getting Els shop to, exp uh, to come over here. So if what we're going to have to do is complete chapter 10, then I think let's, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, the story did leave off at a pretty interesting part last we, at the last point that we were at. So I think that, uh, I mean, chapter 9, what was chapter 9? It was... I mean, I, I mean, chapter 9, we've had a whole negotiation ha going on with the Rodians, so now, as for chapter 10, when the Ganglion finally are a bit more exposed than before, we might just have a way of getting to them. Let's see here. We have chapter 10. Alright, complete the Manhunt Affinity mission, which uh, involves um, having Celica come over here, and that's something else I really want to uh, get done with. Anyways, let's... Restricted member is Nagi. We can't have him in our party. All right, fair enough. And with that, let's begin. The Zufarg Menace. That is, they always like to throw random names. Like, <laughs> you have no context for these names. Hey, hey, food! Isn't there only like one item of food left? Yeah, so we've gone through all these in a very particular order. Now all we have left is beef braised in wine. A toast, if you will, to our current efforts. That is a great idea. That's why I said it. No, <laughs> God, that, sound, that sounds ridiculous. I like the little green on top, the random thing that she just adds on. Like, where do you get this from? Alright, and now Mustache Man is gonna come in because he just eats for some reason. Man, yep, oh there he is. Man, Lynn. Somehow you manage to outdo yourself every time. It's all about the ingredients. Right, Tatsu? Right. Let's get started. Well, before that, I need to clear something up. Commander? I know you're wondering. After the bogus lifehold lead, we had the Pathfinders turned inside out. Sure enough, we found evidence that someone messed with Frontier Nav. They planted that phony data. You mean... We got a spy. That's right. One of our own is working with the Gangly. This was an inside job. One question, Commander. Like we don't have enough to worry about. And here I am, sending you all out right into that death trap. Damn it. <sighs> I don't know what else to say, except I'm sorry. I hope you'll forgive me. Tatsu like Muscle Man better when he's angry and yelling. Zip it, Pipsqueak, or you'll be seasoned and fried by breakfast. <laughs> Tatsu has a point, though. It's not like you to dwell on mistakes, Commander. Especially when they weren't your mistakes to begin with. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, the Commander isn't exactly one to beat himself up over anything. Well, but... No buts about it, sir. 
And no more apologies, okay? We survived after all. Now let's see that surly taskmaster we all know and love. That's right. Your orders, Commander? Well, put it that way. Who am I to? <clears throat> all right. Touchy feely time is over. I've got your next assignment. We need you to head out and fix a key data probe that's on the Fritz. It's way out in northern Silvalo. We'll get you the coordinates. Yes, sir. With pleasure. Repair missions are my specialty. That's why we picked you. That and the ganglion have been quiet lately. Too quiet. I don't like it. Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing. In your report, the uh, Rothbier, was it? He made it sound like they've got a base tucked away. Some place with black rocks and lava. It's gotta be called those, yeah? I think it's a safe assumption, yes. Well, anyway, as you might have guessed, the idea of a big old ganglion base here on Mira does not exactly thrill. Agreed. And with Lao sidelined, we're gonna have to pick up the slack. Let's get that probe fixed, all right? All right, so repair the data probe installed into Silvum's Northern Delusion Mountain. Interestingly enough, Northern Silvum, I do not like how low that counter is getting. Interestingly enough, the... Really getting down to the wire here. Where in the hell is that core? Oh, man. Yeah, everybody, everybody's under stress. At least everybody who's you know, dealing with this kind of stuff. Hey, Luke, it publicly says that I'm not done with the game. Yeah, I would be done with it if it wasn't Let's Play. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Um, the thing is, it's interesting because the northern area of Silvalum is actually the entrance area towards Caldrus. Um, the fact that they are talking about Caldrus as well is interesting. And speaking of Caldrus, this is the Ganglion's base on Caldrus, I believe. So, they have what looks like a big, massive scale, I suppose? I mean, all the... Okay, it might not even be a conventional scale, the, f the front part of it sure didn't. Back with Luxar's troubles. Grandmaster Luxar. Grandmaster, sir! I heard you the first time, imbecile! Lower your voice in my presence. It's the recently completed Zufark, sir. Breeze, get off. What did you say? Why would she do that? Why does everyone in this confounded organization think they can do whatever they please? So, I think that's the reason why we're managing against these guys. If Luxar is actually a legit if Luxar is a legitimately good commander being all you know, if he's a legitimately good commander, he and he actually knows when to send everybody out, knows when to set what weapons on what people, then you know, maybe having this man orchestrate everything would be alright. But we have a lot of people who are willing to do whatever they want. We have um 
the uh, these or the Orpha people. We have uh, Dagon and Riz apparently. We have uh, the Rodians as well. Anyway, so I'm just going to fast travel to Silvalum. Uh, I've already visited Silvalum a few times. We're gonna go to Delusion's North Summit. All right, and real quick, I'm gonna take a nice little drink, which looks really weird. Let's drink this. What is this? Oh my god, that's not a normal drink. That is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Buster. Best! Ricky Bestest! Alright. Ugh, oh, that drink was weird. Whoa, what is that? Shaman service. That looks interesting. Anyways. Oh, uh, whoa, what is that purple light going in the sky? Wait, what is that purple light going in the sky? Oh, that's the probe that they want us to place. They're always golden. That is a very unusual color for them. Yep, that is definitely <laughs> while I run a diagnostic and see what I can do. You think it's like the complete opposite color? And that should do it. All set. Sorry for the wait. Well done, as always. All in a day's work. But one thing, the problem we had here wasn't unique. It's bound to affect the other probes sooner or later. We probably should patch them all to be safe. <laughs> Is Lindley serious? Friends want to go stitch up every probe on all of Mira? Tatsu will be Grampy Pond before friends finish. Simmer down, Potato Skin. It's not that bad. I fixed this one manually, but now I can upload that patch and fix all the other probes throughout the network at once. Phew. Whatever Lindley talking about, Tatsu believe her. Tatsu do dance of relief not to fix so many probes. Yeah. We have planted a lot of them, haven't we? And really, what's it gotten us? Hmm? Not just us, everyone. All of Blade, all of NLA. We spent all this time on Frontier Nav, you know? What if we never find the core? Then what do we do? We've searched all over this planet looking for the Lifehold core. What if it's not even here? What if the whole thing smashed to bits when it crashed down? You know that's not possible. Do I? Our consciousnesses aren't here. They're controlling these MIMS remotely from the core. It can't have been destroyed. In fact, it has to be somewhere relatively close, or we would feel the lag. You're right. I... just... Okay, Lynn. I know you're tired. It's been a long couple of months. Being inside these mims takes its toll on all of us. It's only natural to feel like this. But I promise, it's going to be all right. <sighs> what were they thinking when they designed these things anyway? Hmm? What did they mean? These mims. Why would you make an artificial body that can cry tears? It's so embarrassing. Well, lots of reasons. Tears lubricate the eyes. They flush out dust and debris. And unwanted feelings, too. You feel better, don't you? Hmm. I guess those mim makers knew what they were doing after all. Well, if I ever see them, I'll be sure to tell them you said so. Thanks. Hmm? Friends hear that? There! What is it? Really big. Bigger than caravan big. Bigger okay, kinda, yeah. Frontier village big. Its transponders are responding to our IFS signal. We have to assume it's hostile. Take cover. Of 
sorts before we hit the city. All right, let's do it. I figured you'd say as much. Remember, the entire city is counting on us. It's not this big piece of junk right out of the sky. Okay, there's four of you, or there's oh, sorry, three of you, and there's that huge ship. <laughs> they stopped running. They're even dumber than I thought. Yes. Thanks for the freaking insight, genius. Now sit back and watch while I burn the human 